In the previous video, we made this lovely big blue rectangle, which is going to form our sky. The only downside is that it was drawn in the wrong layer, the family layer. And the reason for that is because before we create that object, we were last editing things in that particular layer. When you add new content, it's always added to the layer that was currently active. Now we need to move this to resolve the problem. And we do it by moving it to a different parent layer. So you notice I've still got the blue rectangle selected. In the layers panel, over on the far right hand side, the small green square tells me that there is something selected in that parent layer. We know it's our rectangle. What you then do is click and hold down the left mouse button on that small square and then drag it to a different parent layer. So if I drag this down, you'll notice that here, hovering over the sky layer, the preview with my left mouse button still held down is of a large black square. I'll let go of the mouse and you'll notice now that it's moved the object into the sky parent layer and because it's lower down in that stack, it now appears behind anything that's in the family layer or the hill layer. And we now have a better looking composition. The other thing I'll do then is expand open that sky layer. And this is our object rectangle. Now to prevent us from selecting that by accident, we'll lock it. And we can do that by going to the locking column in between the visibility icon, which is the eyeball and the layer color and click. And that locks it now. If I take my selection tool and try and click on that element, it will no longer be able to select it until we choose to unlock it. I'll collapse the sky parent layer and we're now in a position to be able to add other content in here without the hassle of selecting the wrong things.